Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. Very good morning to you in the name of our Lord God and Savior King Jesus Christ. In today's morning reflection, let's take the word of God from the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 10. Where the Bible says the Lord is a strong tower. And then when you run to it for safety. So that means the Lord is a strong tower. And the Lord says the Lord is a strong tower. And you can run to it for safety. What is the meaning of this, the strong tower? My dear brothers and sisters, uh, in those days, in those days, what would happen is that in those early days, uh, the kings, they used to live in palaces and castle, and there used to be fort, okay? And there would be also towers. Now, castle is a place where king used to be there. It was almost like a palace where the kings used to be, the king's family used to be there and all those things. Then there was the fort. Fort is the place where the military regiment and uh, the military people, and it was very close to the castle, and it was like full, very close to the king's palace, surrounded by it and all this thing. And uh, if any country had to, if any uh, region had to conquer another region, they would come to the fort and fight there. I mean, during that time, what is a tower? Tower is, Basically a watchtower where it would be very high, very high, maybe 10 floors high, 10, 20 floors, they would climb there and it would be a broad one, very huge and a broad tower. Like it will be like, you know, from down it would be like a very broad, very broad, maybe at least around 30, 40 feet broad, you know, maybe even 50, 60 feet broad that way and then higher and higher and higher. So it would have only one or two doors or four doors from down. So during the time of emergency or sometimes when the enemy camp was very strong and uh, people had to escape, what would people do is that uh, people would run to the tower. People would run to the tower and then they would open the doors and then they would all go inside the tower and the tower would be like, you know, going up and up and up. So the more the people went, they would go inside only, up spiral, go up, 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 till the teacher on top, and lots of people could be accommodated in the tower. And when they came inside, they would latch the door, and nobody could get in that easily. And if by chance, somebody tried to open the door also, the soldiers would be there, and if somebody tried to enter the door also, they would be cut near the door only, and the soldiers would be lost there. So there was no chance. Even if they had to shoot arrow, it wouldn't affect these people and they would be very safe. They would be very safe. In the meantime, the other military would take care of them and destroy these people forever, the other people. So same way, the Bible calls, calls the Lord a tower and you can run to the tower for safety. That means you can run to the Lord for safety. In other words, you will be protected, you will be taken care of and there is no better place like the Lord. So for the people it was like, other than the tower, there was no better place. So same way for you and for me, for our protection, there is no better place than Jesus. Today let's pray to God, ask God to bless us and keep us protected under his care and glory. Can we pray? Okay. Father God in heaven, we praise and we thank you, we worship you. We glorify and exalt your holy name on high. You alone are worthy of all praise and honor. You are a God, you are a king, you are a savior. You are the strongest tower for us as we come to you for safety and protection. Cover us in your most precious blood and help us to be victorious each passing moment of this day. In union with you, we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. You have a nice day. Till we meet again, goodbye and God bless you.